What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today it is time for the off-season. Coach Dennis Green is calling it a career, a, a, a career. If I could get my R's and my A's in the right position, and then Levy Smith is also retiring, but maybe we'll see him back. I don't know. He's gonna go work on his golf game just a little bit. Anyways, we need a new defensive coordinator, and we're gonna go with Corals. He was our linebacker just a few seasons ago. We're going to bring him back to coach defense for us. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a strange offseason. I definitely want to kind of retool this team because we are getting older. It kind of doesn't make sense because we just did make it to the NFC Championship game for the first time. Just made it to the playoffs for the first time in this franchise. Man, this might be one of our longer franchises because I still think it's going to take us a while to get where we need to go. Even though we have like some of the best old linemen, good running back, it's still a struggle to kind of move the ball consistently. The defenses, I think, just know what we want to do, man. So we are going to upgrade our stadium just a little bit. Cup holders, that, that's a weird one. I, you would think that everybody would have cup holders, but I guess not. I've never been in a stadium that didn't have cup holders. I mean, I have, because I used to sit on bleachers back at the old Stanford Stadium. I haven't been to the new one, but I'm just saying, like, geez. And that was like a long, long time ago, obviously. Anyways, man, Fred Beasley's calling it a career. So is Willie Rofe, Rodney Harrison, Dixon Priest. Holmes is calling it a career. So is uh, Tiki Barber, Musa Muhammad. Derek Brooks, you see him. I told you I had a feeling that he was going to walk away from the game. Ty Law's also calling it a career. Donnie Edwards, or Holmes, Mike Minter, Matt Stover, Kevin Hardy, who made it to the Pro Bowl his last year. You don't see that too often, but he done did his thing in his last year as an NFL football player. Steve McNair. Eric McNair is gone. He's the best quarterback to retire, followed by Kerry Collins and the guy from the Panthers. Like, like I don't know who that guy was, but hey, it is what it is. So we ended up losing three guys as well. Brooks is the biggest one. The other two were backups. Eubanks, Kozlowski, and Wright are restricted free agents, so we are going to give Eubanks an offer, and Buffalo is like, hold the phone. We want this guy. So if we give him up, we'll get a first-round pick and a third-round pick, pick 25 and pick 20, well, 25 for both uh, uh, rounds, first and third. Not, not doing that. I like Eubanks, 90 overall. I want him on the squad. I do not want too many rookies. I know I said I want this team to get younger, but I also want talent. And, 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 I, and I also want to get faster, but I also want skill. And some people consider skill, speed to be a skill. I do, but not really. I want guys that can play football. Yes, I want you to be able to run fast, but I want you to be able to play football. So we're going to bring back guys that can do that. All right. Uh, Big Olin, we're bringing him back. Booger, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about maybe letting him work, but it was like it was a two-year deal. He's 31. He's still going to have his strength. Let's work with him. Vickers, I'm going to bring him back. He has a powerful leg. Why not bring back a kicker? Brandon Kozlowski gave him a one-year deal. Let's just give him a three-year deal, lock him up for the next few seasons, and then we're going to find uh, Phillips, and yes, Phillips is going to sign on that dotted line. So everybody else here is going to be on the free agent rotation, free agent books. I don't know where I was going with it, but they're going to be free agents, basically what I'm saying. Barrett Rue was the toughest one. 89 overall, still young. He could still blossom. Watson was a little bit um, 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 hard to let go as well. However, I don't just want to re-sign everybody because everybody re-signs with you. And, and I've said that in the past that I kind of want to kind of want to see how things play out in free agency a little bit more. We know that so many times we want guys to resign with our favorite NFL teams in real life, and it just doesn't happen. So looking at these quarterbacks is not really good looking until we get here. Okay, Darren Busey. Darren Busey looks to be solid. Ran a 4-6, amazing arm strength, amazing pass accuracy. I want accuracy. He has it. Then Hunter. From Penn State, same thing. Amazing accuracy, amazing pass strength. And again, I want accuracy. These guys have it. So with our first pick, we're going to go inside linebacker. I see that 4-8. That is a little scary. But I'm going to still roll the dice with Harrison. Then we're going to come back, get a cornerback with Cleveland because, again, we let Cully go, and I'm worried about Rondé Barber. Right here, we're going to go with the right end. We don't really need it, but I'm going to take it because he was a top 10, and we get him in the second round. Damn Busey. Third round quarterback, get him at pick 30 in the second round. 
That's basically a third round pick. So Harrison is 73 overall. Could be a bust. One of our lowest draft picks. He was our first pick of the draft. Pick number two overall. Cleveland is good. Perez is good. Busey looking good. Uh, Smith, a receiver looking good. Carter, a free safety looking good. And the rest of the guys are just going to be backups. These are the major free agents. David Akers going to the Chargers. Antonio Gates going to the Patriots. Flynn to the Jets. Uh, and then you got uh, Barrett Rude to the Chargers. And yeah, again, I might be kicking myself with letting Barrett Root go. Kelly is going to the 49ers. Amon Green, he's moving on to the Titans. Simeon Rice, who we let go, is going to the Giants. Um, yes, Derek. I mean, yeah, Johnson, Dirk Johnson, he did not sign with nobody. Wright, another buck, is also going to go play football for the 49ers. So, again, had to make some tough decisions. Do we have the salary cap to keep everybody? Yes. But y'all know me. I don't like, I don't, I, don't, I do not like restarting franchises and dynasty. I do dynasties on both of my channels, and I do not like restarting them, even though I will restart them. I feel like we've hit, like, what we've done all that we can do realistically. But I actually like prolonging these things. So, Having like a challenge ahead of me is the only way that we're going to keep this going. So anyways, these are our targets. We went at the Antonio Gates. He said no. Leon Gonzalez, interesting guy. 93 speed, 99 agility. Yes, 43 awareness. I don't really care about that for my backs. He might not be able to pass protect. He's not going to be in for pass protection. 99 acceleration, 99 carry. Like, this guy looks like he can be a stud. Break tackle is very low, but hey, it is what it is. I like him, so we brought him in, obviously. Ben Watson, we also targeted, tried to bring him back, but we lost to the Steelers. We do bring in Smith. Uh, Billups, cornerback, we end up losing. Justin Miller, who wanted to be our kick returner and cornerback, we lose out on him. Rashad Woods, one time, I think a first round, a second round pick for the Niners back in the day, we signed him with Reggie Brown. So our receiving core is looking pretty good. We bring in Mays, who I believe was a tight end for the pick. Carolina Panthers. We lose out on Thompson, and then these guys are basically just backups. Again, I was looking for speed at cornerback. I love me some Rondé Barber, but he is not the fastest guy in the world, and I want speed in my secondary. He's most likely going to be our nickel. He can win the position battles, but he will most likely be our nickel cornerback moving into next year. This guy, Brandon Carter, 83 overall speed. Very intriguing, 73 overall, same as Harrison, our number one pick in the draft. And I'm like, yo, I, 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 I kind of want to see what he can do. Last year, we did kind of use a linebacker by committee. I don't know if that's like real. Yes, you have some linebackers throughout history that were more so suited to like stop the run. I remember watching the old thing on like Washington, the last time they won the Super Bowl. Not the last. Was it the last? Yeah, I think that was the last time they won the Super Bowl versus the Buffalo Bills. They had Matt Millen, who played for the Raiders and the Niners. After those years with the Raiders and the Niners, he was kind of more just your run stopper. And they would have him play on run stopping downs and then have him have another running back, another linebacker, excuse me, play during the pass coverage downs and stuff like that. So, hey. That, that's kind of what it is. I'm going to have my linebackers moving around. I'm not giving up on Harrison. We signed him to a six-year deal to figure out that he was 73 overall. I knew his speed was worries, was was worrisome. I knew it, but I didn't think it was going to be like that. I really did not. So, Eubanks gets two more points. Having a big guy like this with 90 acceleration, that's absolutely scary. But can we get some pressure on the quarterback is going to be the question moving forward. Our quarterback, Dan Busey. Hopefully, this man is the guy. I was a little bit disappointed in his accuracy. It's an amazing accuracy. It's around 82, 83, but he is a rookie, so these guys are going to develop fairly quickly. He is going to be exactly what Welch was. Welch was a third-round pick. He had amazing accuracy, amazing throw power, arm strength, um, and he just got hurt too much. If he didn't get hurt, we're in the Super Bowl. I guarantee you that. If, if I love me some Welch. Dre Welch, the doctor. If he could have stayed healthy, he was our guy. We freaking made it to the championship game with David Carr. So please believe I have high hopes for this guy. Is it going to be year one? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But his accuracy is 82. We're going to get bronze off of that goal. I mean, off of that drill. This is why I don't go all the way up to all Madden. Because I'm not good at these, okay? Uh, but we do get a new TV deal. So hopefully everything works out for us. But who knows? Preseason or not, we lose three of our major guys. Left guard, gone. Right tackle, gone. And Taylor, who is going to get some playing time outside backer, out for the season. So Battle, who we drafted, and uh, John Lewis, who we drafted a couple years back, who is going to be a replacement for Derek Brooks. He's going to be in there. 
Uh, Brandon Carter's going to get some playing time. And, of course, Harrison's going to get some playing time at linebacker. Uh, but we just we, we have to put it all together this season. We are not trying to miss the postseason. Again, we made it to the postseason last year. We want to make it back-to-back -back times. We're going to have a rematch versus the Rams, the team that made it to the Super Bowl, that beat us in the championship game. So you know we're looking for some revenge, but is this going to be a little bit too much for us to handle in St. Louis week number one? Who knows? But that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day, my friends. And until we meet again, peace, love. Hi, sauce.